Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and welcome to this new Unity tutorial series, which is going to be nice and short, where we're going to take a look at making an audio manager to handle the sound in your game. It's going to be a very simple and straightforward way, and something that you can add to your own game. It's going to be the idea of this is going to be it's usable for a multitude of different games. It doesn't matter what kind of game you're making uh, yourself; it should be uh, be able to be applied. Uh, no matter what you're doing. So we'll be working with 2D um, scripting and stuff here while we're creating the series, but it would be equally applicable to any kind of 3D games or anything like that. It just would be a matter of replacing everywhere we say 2D in our scripts, just take that 2D out of there. But all the principles that we're actually going to use will apply the exact same way. So I've set up this kind of basic little um, platformer uh, arena here. Uh, there will be a link in the description down below so you can download the starting project file so you can start the exact same place that we're starting here and basically there's these three little areas here and the third one will take you to another level and the other level the third zone here will take you back to the first level so what we're going to do is handle um we're obviously going to need some background music to start off with here and then we're going to show how we can change the background music when we walk into some new zones and then we're going to handle uh, changing some music when we go into a new area. And we'll start doing some more stuff as this little short series progresses. So to start off with, we're going to need to have some actual music playing. So what we're going to do is go into our hierarchy. We're going to create a new empty object that we will just call our audio manager. And what we'll do is we'll go into our music folder here. And I'm just going to drag BitQuest into uh, on top of our audio manager here so these files will all be included there um, uh, free to use tunes from uh, incompetech.com and so we have our audio manager here so what we need to do then obviously is create a script to handle it, our audio manager so by default now our our music is just playing which actually set it to loop continuously because we want our audio to keep playing over and over again um, so just to demonstrate that in action before we actually go ahead and do anything else. So we've got our music playing and obviously at the moment it doesn't do anything else. So we, uh, we go to a new level and our music stops. Uh, so we go back to here again. And so on our audio manager we want it to loop over and over so it keeps playing forever. And the way we're going to handle changing our music is instead of bringing other objects into the world. So say we could have this overworld uh, music here. We could drop it in there like that. And then we could have uh, we could have it so that it assigns the music to be playing from this object instead of our audio manager. But that's a very messy way to do things and kind of overcomplicated. So what we're actually going to do is keep it a lot more simple. And basically, when we want to change the music, we will just switch out what's been played in our audio clip, which is attached to our audio manager. So we're going to go and create a script to start doing that stuff now. So we're going to go into our scripts folder and create a new C sharp script that we will call audio manager. I'm going to open this up here. If it'll let me, there we go. Okay, so we've got our audio manager here. Um, now obviously we're going to need a reference to the music that we're playing with. Uh, so we're going to add here a not private, we're going to make it public because we might need to make some changes externally. We shouldn't, but uh, just in case, keep things open for yourself for the future. Um, we're going to add public audio source background music. Now, because we know our background music is attached to our audio manager, we could set it to uh, automatically find that object. But as we go forward with this, we're going to add some different ways to handle this stuff. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to manually hook that up. So I'm just going to save this, go back in here. And what we're going to do is essentially apply this script to our audio manager object like this. And we're just going to drag the audio manager object into the slot here. So it knows the audio uh, source that it's looking for is attached to the audio manager object itself. Um, what we're going to do uh, in uh, one of the further episodes in this short series is handle uh, switching between our tracks with like a little gradual fade between the tracks. But to do that, we'll obviously need to be able to uh, reference two different 
uh, audio files. So that's why we're setting this up so that we have to drag and drop our things into the right place. But we'll examine that further as we go into further episodes. So for now, on our audio manager, we have it set up so it knows what uh, music it's looking for. So then what we're need, going to need to do is create an extra function that we can call whenever we want to change the music that we're playing at the moment. So what we're going to do is create a public void and we're going to call this change BGM for change background music. And what we're going to do is pass in um, an audio clip so that we will know what is the audio clip that we actually want to change it to. So we're going to say here audio clip that we're just going to call music. So what we want to happen is whenever our audio change our audio or uh, sorry, whenever we want to change the background music, we're going to say whatever music we ha already have going on at the moment, we're going to tell that to stop straight away. So we're going to say BGM, which is our background music audio source up here. So we're going to say BGM dot stop. Then we're going to go to the BGM. We're going to go into the BGM dot clip. And then we're going to say, okay, the clip that is currently associated in the BGM. So to start off with, that'll be our big quest bit of music here. What we're going to say is bgm.clip is now equal to music. So we're setting it to be equal to whatever uh, value we're passing in to our change BGM function. So we'll say bgm.clip is equal to music and then we'll start our music playing again. And of course this will happen so fast you won't really even notice the change. You'll just notice the music uh, immediately switching. Uh, but we're going to leave it like that for now. So we're going to save this. And now to see this actually in action, we're going to need um, something in our game here to represent that happening. So what we're going to do is set it up so that our, one of our little zones here will be able to actually switch between our music. So we're going to need to create a new script that we're going to call our switch music trigger. I'm going to open this up here. And then very straightforwardly, uh, it's going to be nice and simple. So we'll obviously need a, oh, no, I don't need to put that there. We need to go inside our mono behavior. So we'll obviously need to know what audio clip are we going to want to change to. So we're going to have a public audio clip that we'll call new track. And then we're also going to need to be able to make a reference to the audio manager itself because we're going to want to run the change BGM uh, clip in here. So we're going to go, uh, we'll just make this a private because it doesn't really matter too much. We'll say private audio manager that we'll call the AM to keep it nice and simple. And then in our start function, we're going to say the AM is equal to find object of type audio manager like that and then we're not going to use the, the update loop but we're going to use void on trigger enter Oop, not there's no j in there uh, on trigger enter 2d and then collider 2d other so as i was saying if you were using this in a 3d world you would want to have your player walking into a box we have a 2D box here, but you'd want to have maybe a 3D box that the player could walk into to change the music. Uh, so what we, you would do is just remove the 2D from both of these bits here, and it would work absolutely fine in your, your 3D world and game. So what we want to do is check if the player is walking into the zone. So if other.tag is equal to player, so that way we know that the player is walking into our area. So we can then say, okay, uh, on the audio manager, we want to change the background music and the music we want to give it the change to is whatever we've assigned to be our new track up here. And just to make sure we don't uh, accidentally start causing errors, what we're actually going to do is just above this bit here, we're going to say if our uh, new track is not equal to null. So all that is doing is checking it as long as there is actually something assigned into our audio clip over here then we'll change the background music to be the new track because we don't want it to change the new track if there's actually nothing there that's how we're going to end up causing ourselves some errors so i'm actually just going to 
delete that and move down again just so it lines up nicely first so we'll save that and we'll go back in here and now we can actually test this in action and see how it goes so i'm just going to add that script onto two of these activation zones here so we've got a green one and our red one so i'm going to highlight both of them i'm going to drag our switch music into there and then we're going to make it each one of these do a different music so we'll have our first one go to overworld here if it will just take a second there we go and on our second one we're going to go to pixel land like that so now if we hit play we'll see okay we walk into the zone there we go our music changes go into this one our music changes again we can go back to the first one but now because of the way we've set it up what can actually happen is if we go back into the first one again now it's going to reset the music back to the start which is obviously not what we want to happen right? we want our player to reach a certain pass or we might want our player to reach a certain part of the level but we don't want them to then um go back to the same to loop into the same song over and over again so what we'll do is just add a simple check to make sure that we're not just restarting the same music again so back into our audio manager here what we're going to do is just add an, in, an if statement here to say if our background music dot clip so our clip that we're currently playing on the background music if the name of that is equal to whatever the music dot name is so basically if our two audio sources have the exact same name then we know oh we don't want to actually restart the music then so what we'll do is just say okay in that case just return so return will stop it it won't it won't go down to this section here it'll just stop right where it is and stop running this function so we'll save that go back in here and just test that and see that in action just let it compile down in the corner so we walk over here there we go we got our little bit of music playing and still switch to new music just the way we wanted to but if we walk back to this zone now it keeps the music going just the way we want it to which is absolutely perfect okay so the next thing we want to do is take a look at how our audio manager will handle moving into a new level and that's what we're going to take a look at in the very next episode so thanks for watching this episode and i'll see you all very soon Thanks for watching this episode, and if you want to learn more about developing your own games, you can follow the link on screen to my complete 2D platformer game development course on Udemy, where you will learn how to program and build a complete game in Unity 2D with multiple levels, enemies, and unique boss battles. So click the link on screen or in the description below and get the course today.